Most of these are quite simple until you do, uh, you change the center from G, which is easy, out to like a, a point out here. So let's try one of those. Let's just make one up. Let's say we're going to rotate about D. So we're going to do a rotation about D of, let's say, 60 degrees. Now, first of all, we better get an idea of what's going on out here is that the 60 degrees, every one of these angles is 60 degrees in this particular diagram because a hexagon is made up of uh, equilateral triangles and so we're going to get a bunch of those happening. So again let's pick D as our center and let's see where E goes if we rotate it by 60 degrees. Now remember 60 degrees would be this amount right in here and it would rotate in a counterclockwise direction so E would move right to position G. It would land at G. So it's a little bit different out there on the edge, but uh, but it's doable. Let's let's try another one uh, of a similar style. Let's pick F as our center, and so we're going to do a rotation about F. Let's do it, um, uh, let's see, 120 degrees, and um, let's see, 120 degrees, we want to go A. Where will A land? So here's A. So 120 degrees would be 60, and then an additional 60. So A would land on G with 60, and then it would continue to land on E as a final resting location. So there's an arc there that it would travel upon and the total angle is 60 and 60 which is 120.